Hey everyone, it's Shauna Marie here from Toronto Fusion. One of the things that we've been asked this week is what we do when we're going up to bat and we're feeling a little nervous or maybe a lot nervous about getting hit by the ball. So a couple of us are going to share some strategies that we use during games as well as during practices um, and also give you a couple of ideas for things that you can try at home. Okay, so being nervous going up to bat, something that I struggle with every time. I'm usually nervous even when I'm on deck. So the first thing I do is I take a couple of deep breaths to try to calm those nerves down a little bit before I get to the plate. Then when it is my turn, I walk to the plate. I try not to rush. I used to think that I had to hurry up and get ready because everyone's waiting for you. It's not the case and my coaches have reminded me to slow down. If we're hurrying, and especially if you feel nervous already, your heart rate can go up and make you that much more nervous. So take your time, take a deep breath and walk to that plate. We made it, it's our turn up to bat. Every time you get up to bat, you should be taking a step out and looking to your third base coach for signs. Even if they don't give you signs, it's a really good habit to get into um, between each pitch and each time you go up to bat and they can have some good advice to share. For example, my coach, he knows I get nervous. So he has some different cues for me that remind me to relax, to stand in there and to have fun. Some of the things he might do, he'll kind of do this to remind me to just take a breath settle in. He'll bend his knees to remind me to stand in there because I tend to, to step out a little bit. Uh, it might be an encouraging clap to remind me that I can do this. He will wiggle his fingers to remind me to keep my hands relaxed, loose on the bat. And sometimes it just takes a simple, have fun up there kid, gets a smile. It reminds me that this is all just a game and that the most important part is to enjoy it. Looking towards your third base coach is a great and really important habit to get into, not only when you get up to the plate, but also in between each pitch. Have you ever had it happen where you get up to the bat and you're just, you're ready to go and you're so excited to hit the ball and you swing at something that was way outside the strike zone, you feel kind of silly? Your coach will come remind you after each pitch to settle in, take it one pitch at a time. Or when you get a pitch that feels really inside, might scare you a little, or that one pitcher who throws really hard and you feel a little intimidated. Yep, I know that feeling too. Your coach can remind you to take a deep breath before you see the next pitch. But as a player, you also need to remind yourself to take a deep breath. Settle in one pitch at a time. Okay, you guys. So it's really hard for me to get out of my own head, especially when I'm up to bat. So during games, I rely pretty heavily on my coaches to help me combat those nerves but I also work really hard to practice regulating them myself. Even if you don't have a coach helping you out with these things, you can cue yourself. Wiggle your fingers on the bat before each pitch to make sure your hands are relaxed. Take a breath in between each pitch. Um, take a breath before you step into the box. Remind yourself that every pitch is a new chance and that feeling that you get when you hit the sweet spot of the bat and you get to run those bases is worth all of the nerves and it'll give you a little bit more confidence that you really can do this. Hi girls, it's Steph from Toronto Fusion. You asked how to deal with being afraid of getting hit by the ball while you're in the batter's box. Now first off, it's natural to be afraid of getting hit by the ball, and it's also natural to be afraid of doing something when you don't do it that often. When you're at a game, you're only up to bat a few times, and so you only get to practice this a few times. So my suggestion is while you're at home social distancing, you can practice seeing the ball come in. If you're able to watch the ball come in and understand whether or not it's going to hit you or not hit you, then that's a really important way to kind of face your fear. What you need for this exercise is a helmet to protect your head, maybe some gloves to protect your hands, a sweater if you feel more comfortable with that extra padding, something to be a home plate, I'm going to use my glove, and a bat if you have one to practice holding and practice also getting it out of the way when the ball's coming in. You're going to want to get into your batting stance and you're going to get someone, maybe a sibling or a parent, to throw the ball into the strike zone for you and that's so that you get used to watching the ball come in. Once it's in this area it's most likely not going to hit you but if it comes closer to you what you can do is turn so that you can take the pitch. So you're going to face away from the pitcher and bring your bat down so that it doesn't foul off and you get a strike. Now 
that you practice this, you should be more used to seeing the ball come in and realize that it doesn't hurt that much when the ball hits you. The last piece of advice that I want to talk to you about is when you have a pitcher that's really fast or if they have a really good curveball. I've found that sometimes when I'm facing those kind of pitchers, I also turn out of the way when the ball's actually a strike and it's a little embarrassing and I feel a little silly after but that just means that the pitcher was a good pitcher. To help me for the next time that I'm up to bat or the next time that they throw the ball, I remind myself that I just want to stay in there and actually try to swing the bat when the ball is coming in. Sometimes that means that I might actually get hit and it may sting for a little bit, but I'm kind of proud because that means that I was brave and stayed in and tried to actually hit the ball. And it also means that I got the first, so that means that I'm helping my teammates out. So if you want to, while you're practicing this, you can just stay in your batter's position and wait to see if that ball is going to turn or curve in. And if it doesn't, you're also going to take the ball. I hope that these exercises help you actually get more comfortable watching the ball come in and also more comfortable when you're up to bat. You can keep practicing it, get more used to it, and although it might still be a scary experience, hopefully it becomes less scary and more fun.